Hello and welcome back to the Greek Pyramid. You've seen the title, so let's just jump straight in. So the first time we see Rachel is at Hoover Dam. So Percy didn't meet her there. Then she doesn't redirect the skeleton warriors from Percy. However, if Percy manages to get to the bathroom like he does in the Titan's Curse, he may be able to temporarily fend them off by making the sinks and toilets explode, as we've seen him do before. Forcing the skeletons back and giving him enough time to allow him to escape. So, in this scenario, it didn't seem so bad so far, but it does have some great consequences for the rest of the series, as if there is no Rachel, there is no one to guide them through the labyrinth. So potentially they have to turn to Sally Jackson, as I believe at this point, she is the only person we know who can see through the mist so can guide them. I'm not sure how up she would be for going on a quest, and I'm not sure she would have thrown a hairbrush at Kronos, but you know, she may manage to successfully navigate the maze and get them all out safely. She will truly see the danger Percy is in throughout his quests. If we move forward to the last Olympian, this does mean Percy doesn't know that he is not the hero of the prophecy. As Rachel says it will affect his choice in the end, he may not give the knife to Luke, which does mean the potential end of the world. But if Percy listens to Annabeth and Luke's pleas, and he does pass the knife to Luke, and they succeed in beating Kronos, there is still the issue of their missing an oracle at the end of the last Olympian. Would they still get the prophecy of Seven or not? Depends if the old oracle is still feeling up for it. This could then throw the entire war against Gaia and the giants into flux, if they are not even aware that it's coming. Although, do prophecies still come true if they aren't told by anyone? It's a bit like if a tree falls in the woods and no one's around to hear it, does it make a sound? Would Hera still make her play of swapping the camps if she's not aware of the prophecy? Probably not. Once the Greek and Greeks and Romans have figured out there is something seriously wrong going on, would they try and create their own quest teams to take down Gaia by themselves? I mean, at least the Greeks have Leo to still build the Argo too. Naturally, at some point along their journey to Athens, they would both come across one another, and most likely attempt to destroy each other, ultimately curtailing both quests, and meaning Gaia wins, destroying the entire of civilization. Although, along the way, we would get some pretty cool demigod fights, probably one between Jason and Percy at their full strengths, rather than being possessed. Ultimately, it would lead to the end of the world, as the team of the Argo 2 don't come together. I mean, knowing the Roman camp, they probably wouldn't even pink, pick Frank and Hazel in their team anyway. From Rachel's perspective, she would just exist in quite a confused state at all the things she is seeing. However, I'm sure she could make some great art, with an accuracy and attention to detail very few would be able to. This is all provided she isn't completely traumatised by all the things she keeps on seeing. As a very small side note, there will probably be a lot less teenage angst in the Battle of the Labyrinth from the beginning of the last Olympian, if Rachel wasn't around. Of course, this is only one possible path. There are many others it could take. Sally did say she couldn't see as much as she did in her youth, so she may not be able to guide them through the maze. If that is the case, then it could mean Nico is potentially killed by Minos, they don't see Kronos rise, or that he is integrated with Luke. It could mean that Grover and Tyson are lost in the maze, with no one knowing that Pan is dead. Maybe the demigods could still fend off the invading forces in the Battle of the Labyrinth, but they would sustain greater losses, weakening them for the final confrontation, and probably leading ultimately to another loss of li more loss of life. So it's a pretty grim world without Rachel Elizabeth there, no matter the scenario that I've come up with. I'm sure there are some happy scenarios as well. I'm sure there's a way they could still succeed without her, but I think at the end of the day, she's pretty necessary. But I'll, I'll leave you on that note. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you have any ideas as to what would happen if Rachel Dare never met Percy, then please let me know down below and I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye.